good morning. We are in the car. We got the doggos. One. I oh, stop crying. Where's the other one? He's over there. He's under his blanket. Um, so yeah, we're driving to Papamore today and we're gonna spend just over a week out of the beach house and just relax, have a bit of a mid-year holiday kind of thing um, and see some friends. So I'm really excited. Oh my God. Mate, come on. He'll stop soon. He's just being naughty. It's probably because we've taken this way and not the normal way. So he'll think he's going to the vet. He's not going to the vet. I know he's not going to the vet, but he'll think he is because this is the way to the vet. We're just on our way to work and we're going to just grab some Ugaia for the beach house. I've almost run out of my tub, so I needed some more. I gave him a haircut last night. Looks flash, don't you? Hopefully he settles down soon. I think he thinks he's going to the vet. Because um, usually when we take him to Papamore, we go a certain way straight out of town. And he's like real good in the car, like barely sees anything. It's okay. We're not going to the feet, not today. I know. This kid is gonna accidentally like pop So we got this just going like, everywhere. <laughs> we we, we got this one. new cold press coffee machine. It's 50 bucks from where did we get it from, Shan? Kmart, and it's actually really quite interesting. I've started filming part way through. So you do like 60 grams of coffee, just uh, 600 ml of water. You turn it on, you push that button. Is that the strong string? Apparently, do you yeah. Does it just like brew it for longer or something? I don't yeah. know. I don't know what the 16 flashing means. So we're gonna. 16 minutes. Oh yeah, sweet. On to it. It's kind of constantly going now. Before at the start of the cola. So yeah, seems to be working. And now um, this is what it made after 16 minutes, and we're gonna try and use an espresso martinis. This was the this was the coffee we tried. I'd never really tried this one before, so I thought we'd do it. And then we're gonna use these beans as garnish on top, just as like a you know a coffee bean that floats on the top. I just filmed so much, and I wasn't actually filming. I didn't hit the button. I dyed my hair pink. Midlife crisis. Life's been a lot. I can't talk about it all. Um, lots of stuff been happening. Haven't been vlogging. I've just been tracking along, getting my work done, trying to remain calm. Um, also, the house has been slightly delayed. I get an update tomorrow about that. So hopefully we are starting soon. But yeah, it's slightly delayed. We were meant to be starting now. <sighs> so good vibes for me, please. Um, let me know if you have any questions for me. Comment them down below. And I'll answer some questions in my next vlog. Because I just feel like I'm out of touch right now. Like I just feel like I've lost my groove a little bit. And I don't want to because I love vlogging. I actually find editing my vlogs really therapeutic for some reason. Compared to my beauty videos. Like those ones are just like... I love filming the beauty videos. But editing them is a different story. So I have an editor to help me with those. Whereas my vlogs like I enjoy filming vlogs and editing vlogs and talking to you guys and my comments and everything it's just been like personal life has been a lot like I said and you know when your personal life feels like a lot like the last thing you really want to do is get on camera and start talking about it um yeah the weather is literally shit too which doesn't make me feel better so Louis peed on the carpet so what I've done is I have um, use hot water and vinegar and I've just soaked it for half an hour and I'm gonna use my carpet cleaner. This one's ancient, it's literally falling apart, look. Like, whoop. it's falling apart. We need a new one, but it's by Bissell. They do newer ones. We've had this one for probably five or six years and it's been literally so with the money. So if you have pets, kids, whatever, you know, you look at the price tag, it's like 600 to 800 dollars usually. It's a lot of money. But we have honestly well and truly got our worth out of this. Like I think we would have used this maybe like 300, 400 times. You know what I mean? We use it literally all the time. I use it most days. I use it on my curtains too. We use it on the carpet a lot. I just did like a huge deep clean of our carpets um, the other day. Our friends have borrowed it countless times. Like, you know, and it's still going. It's just that this thing always pops off. So you have to like, you know, it's just old. It's old and worn out. 
so to be expected but i thought i'd show you me cleaning it up so you can see how well it works which some of you guys may want to skip ahead because it's kind of gross but before i do that little plant update look at this guy amy gave me him and he is thriving i just noticed he was like growing so big this guy i need to trim still i haven't done it he's still growing really lovely at the ends but look how gross his leaves are at the start this succulent is thriving this one Michaela gave me for my engagement and it looks kind of creepy side on because it's all like going towards the sun but he is just loving life right here. This plant is also thriving. I love him. He's my favorite one. And then this is my other favorite one. Look, I've got a new leaf. So I'll have to update you guys. I love the little plant updates. Oh, and also I did overwater him a little bit so I just popped him by the window to dry out a little more. Actually, I can probably move him back now. Is that going to be too heavy? Yes. He's got new leaves coming through. He's growing really tall. I swear, like, last time I showed you, it must have been, like, that tall because it's definitely much bigger. The leaves are huge down the bottom. Some of them have fallen off, so I don't know if that's normal for this plant. You can see some new ones down there, like, the really baby little ones. And this plant is thriving as well. Up here, he's growing really tall and growing, like, four new shoots. That's one that my mum got me at Hamish for Christmas. I'm having this for dinner tonight. This is very chaotic already. But yeah, literally one of my favourite meals from HelloFresh. Like anything that's like a ginger beef, um, ginger strips, rice bowl, teriyaki bowl. Like any of those from HelloFresh. Like literally 10 out of 10 every single time. Me and Hamish is so excited. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to put some carpet cleaner into it the top. You just chuck it there. Like that. And then I'm going to switch the front to the tool function, which it actually already is. If you use the bottom function, you just twist that to the floor cleaning part. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. He's so cute. Hi. Oh, I've got my makeup trackies on. Makeup stains all over them. Hi. Does anyone else have pants like this that you just like use as makeup pants to like wipe your brushes on as you go? Or am I just disgusting? Probably. On for heating, and then we just... Get on. I made dinner, it's HelloFresh, it is mince bowl with pickled onions, rice, it also had cucumber but I don't like cucumber and there is carrot and bok choy inside, toasted sesame seeds, Japanese mayo, oh and it tastes so delicious and there's also ginger and garlic in the sauce as well, sesame oil, um, soy sauce, brown sugar, bomb. Good morning, leaf update starting to unravel slowly at the very bottom and I saw a TikTok about putting a little dish of water near the aerial roots which that one I buried me because I didn't know what it was but I mean it's fine I tried to pull it out but it's just like gone all the way in so I'm just leaving it um but this one is sticking up and I'm like I wonder if it'll like start going towards the water because apparently that's what they do in the jungle or something they like go towards water who knows but either way I've just left it there we'll see what happens I'll keep you updated I have no idea what I'm doing once again. Plant people don't come at me. I'm just trying to experiment. <laughs> but I love this plant. Hi babe. How are you? Little sauce. The only change is um, a small little piece that needs to be added in the engineering to connect the glass railing to the solid railing. Mm -hmm. You know how there's the and then there's glass. Mm -hmm. So Tony's going to do that and then um, we'll submit it.
I cannot wait to show you our next um, venture with you guys as well. We've got one actually really like, it was supposed to be ready about two weeks ago, but the labels came and they were just not right. They were bubbling because of the finish of the texture of the, um, of the label on the packaging. So we had to reprint them. So we're just waiting for them and then, yeah, it's done. Like it's all done, but the one after this, oh, I'm so excited. You guys are gonna love the product we're about to launch though. I got some packages. One here from Glass House. So we wanted to introduce you to our new Eau de Parfum in a handy travel size. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Spoil, are these for body or for room? Look at these. Oh my gosh. And something here from Sony. What is it? Ratchet and Clank. Oh my gosh. Ratchet and Clank, okay, it was my favorite game growing up. And I still think it's one of the best exploring. And oh my gosh, what's all of this? That's why I pulled, like, I don't know how this works. So cool. They've already sent me the game, so I have to try it out. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Some art. Stickers. <laughs> I'll show you some other stuff I got recently. I bought this myself and used a um like a shipping company because I want to do a full face of gloss here because I've never tried anything. So that's gonna be one of my next videos. I also got sent some of these new lashes that actually look so bomb by ABH Novena. Like lower lashes as well. I really love the look of them. So I just try those. Some new ColourPop stuff, which I need to go through because I'll probably donate a lot of it. Also, some new fragrances. This box is empty. New eyeliners by LA Girl. And new Dior stuff here too. Ooh, is that bronzer? Or is that... No, it's just powder. I wonder if that's too dark for me or not. No, surely it's bronzer. Oh, perfecting translucent powder. So maybe it's not as dark as it seems or something, I don't know. That's a cute brush. Dior. Oh, and some more backstage. That was some new Nikita Dragon stuff. All of the packaging came like absolutely demolished. But got some new stuff. New face palettes by Benefit. I'm just showing you everything quickly because I want to put it away. But if you see anything that you want to see me try, then just hit me up. Look at this. I love, love, love the look of them. It's called Dragon Gloss Sus. <laughs> More of these. I just uploaded a video trying those out, so go check it out. It was hectic. I need to let's watch a video on these. It's gonna be one of my next ones too. And also all this new skincare and stuff by Clarins, which looks really good in some blushes and stuff too. So yeah. Oh, and there's like a new perfume here. What's this? Jean Paul Gaultier. I don't know if I said that right. It's the t-shirt, which is so buzzy. Apparently there's only, only a limited number of them. Um. It reminds me of something from like the 90s. And it's got titties. La Belle Perfume Intense. And this is the perfume here. Um, I love these perfumes. They smell amazing. Okay, just open this up. Is this normal? <laughs> I don't know if that's normal. I don't think that's normal. Surely, Fantasy Palette Volume 3. There's like this goo on the like eyeshadows and stuff like that's how it came mm. I'm just sorting out what I want to donate and what I want to um, keep to try these look really cool they're um, face palettes I'm definitely going to try these out and see what they're like Looks way too dark for me, but there must be a reason they sent me this color. Maybe it looks nice. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's good, like bronzer color. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. These are all vegan friendly by Clarence, and I just tried this on, and it feels so nice. It's got coffee and 
something else in it. What is it? Horse chestnut essence to visibly reduce dark circles and diminish the look of puffiness around the eye. It's got a little roller application ball. So it feels nice and cooling on the eyes and the texture is really nice. So I might keep that next to my desk and just like pop it on because it feels really refreshing. I'm just going through everything and you know, this is what the marketing looks like if you are curious. So yeah, I really like the eye cream so far. Obviously I have to keep checking it out, but yeah. And the gloss looks really nice. I've put that in my drawer to try in a video. There's some information at the top. Packaging that puts recycling, recycled materials first. And the pricing's right there. It's not too bad. Like, it's not cheap, but, you know, it's not, like, high, high, high pricing. Like, a lot of stuff that I like to use at the moment. <laughs> it's Thursday. Um, I filmed a video full face of a brand that is so overhyped, I think. I literally feel ugly. Um, I mean, not ugly, sorry, but for the effort I put into my makeup today like it just looks so ev um so I don't know you guys will see it I feel like I'm gonna get hated on it to the end of time because it's like everyone's holy grail and I don't know I don't know I don't know anyways Hamish and I are gonna go out for lunch so I thought I would bring you along because I haven't shown you well I mean I haven't really been vlogging I haven't gone out like I'd vlog my food because I'm very excited. I've been um, craving a steak sandwich, so I'm hoping they've got a steak sandwich. Oh, blah, blah, blah. why am I like this? Today's weather's so weird. It's like literally like nighttime and daytime and nighttime and daytime. Like black clouds, and then it just goes super hot and sunny, and then freezing and dark black rain again. It's like really confusing. So I've put on this little jumper with skinny jeans. I'm gonna wear my Air Forces and hope that I don't freeze or get too hot. I don't know, it's really confusing. I'm trying to see if, oh God, what's happening? Oh, oh, there we go, you can see it. Look at the rainbow. It's actually a really good rainbow. Look at that. Oh, it's kind of a double rainbow home. Look, can you see it? Not really, you can see it on camera a little bit. It's slightly double rainbow. Today's weather's really weird so weird it's like raining again dark but then like sunny on the other side <laughs> we got ribs and olives to start and a coke and a corona steak sandwich what'd you get chowder chowder and bread, bread. should be good days later but I want to include some chopping. Here's what I made. It is a, this one looks nicer. It's a um, chicken and bacon pie with a creamy sauce, celery, carrot, rosemary, garlic, um, onion, mashed potato. Looks so good. Anyways, yeah, I just wanted to like add some cooking into this vlog before I uploaded it. So, love you guys. By the way, here's my cute new nails. I'm gonna upload a picture to my Instagram probably like tomorrow. I've got mashed potato on that one, whoops. Bye.